allopathic medicine versus osteopathic medicine. In today's video, I want to discuss the differences between a DO versus MD degree, let you know which one you should pursue and which is really better. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans, an admissions associate at BMO Academic Consulting. Make sure you subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you'd like us to help you with your medical school application, go to bmomedapplication.com. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections in the video that you're interested in. I'll cover the differences in admission stats, examinations, schooling, tuition, residency, salary, and finally let you know which is better. Arguably, the main difference between DO versus MD programs is the philosophy behind their approach to medicine. MD programs or allopathic medical programs are rooted in the model of medical education and focus on the diagnosis and treatment of their patients. Osteopathic medicine is a science-based discipline that focuses on a holistic approach to medicine, so seeing the body connected as a whole rather than just a collection of body parts. DO physicians tend to choose primary care specialties such as family medicine, pediatrics, and internal medicine since these specialties allow for a more holistic approach to patient treatment. MD physicians are also commonly found in these specialties, but they also pursue specialties like dermatology, surgery, and orthopedics. This doesn't mean that DOs can't pursue these specialties, but primary care is a more common route for DO graduates. Both DOs and MDs have the same capabilities and responsibilities. They both manage and treat diseases and illness. They both promote the health and well-being of their patients. They can be licensed to practice in any state. They write prescriptions and they can participate in any medical specialty. In terms of admission requirements, DO versus MD admission requirements are pretty identical. Both MD and DO applicants must have a bachelor's degree or at least meet the required minimum undergraduate coursework set by each medical school. You'll need excellent extracurriculars, clinical experience, shadowing experience, and of course, excellent grades and test scores. In terms of admission stats, MD programs are generally more competitive. For example, the average DPA of DO matriculants is 3.54 and the average MCAT score is 504. For MD matriculants, the overall GPA is 3.7 and the average MCAT score is 511. In terms of examinations, the USMLE is the standard examination required for all US and international MD students to practice medicine in the US. DO students and residents are also eligible to take this exam. The USMLE consists of the Step 1, the Step 2, and the Step 3. The Comprehensive Osteopathic Medical Licensure Exam, known as the COMLEX USA, this exam tests DO's theoretical knowledge and essential clinical skills. The COMLEX USA consists of standardized test questions and a pass-fail observed clinical examination performed by the student. Like the USMLE, this is also completed in three steps known as levels. If DO students want to attend the allopathic match, they must take the USMLE exams in addition to the COMLEX exam. Schooling. Osteopathic medical school curriculum is similar to that of the MD program. Both programs take four years to complete and they do two years of basic science coursework and then two years of clinical rotations. Then graduates go on to complete their residency training. The most distinguishing element of osteopathic medical education is the inclusion of osteopathic manipulative medicine known as OMM, a hands-on treatment that is used to diagnose and treat people in a primary way. This practice promises to enhance the overall health and holistic functioning of the human body. OMM education usually occurs in the first and second years of the theoretical and skill courses and throughout clinical training. Tuition. DO versus MD tuition costs are comparable. The difference in costs mostly depends on your residency status, so in-state or out-of-state, and whether the school is private or public. So let's look at private MD programs. The average in-state and out-of-state tuition is around $60,000. Now for public MD programs, the average tuition cost in-state is around $37,000 and out-of-state it's $60,000. For private DO programs, the average in-state cost is around $53,000 and the same for out-of-state. Public DO programs, the average tuition is around $30,000 in-state and then around $56,000 out-of-state. Now, residency matching is highly competitive for both MD and DO graduates. Let's take a look at a few common specialty match results. So for example, internal medicine, this year's position fill rate for the specialty was 95.7%. MD seniors filled 40%, while DO seniors filled around 16%, which is an increase over the last five years. Family medicine had a 92.5% fill rate, and US MD seniors filled 33% of those positions. A record number of US DO seniors matched, accounting for also around 30% of applicants who matched to this specialty. 
Pediatrics had a fill rate of around 98%, with 60% being filled by USMD seniors. Now, overall, around 90.7% of USDO seniors matched to PGY1 positions, which is up around 2.6% from the year before. Only slightly higher, 94% of USMD seniors matched to the PGY1 positions. And this match rate has been consistent over the last few years. On average, there is no difference in salary between MD and DO physicians. A doctor's salary is heavily influenced by his or her specialty. For example, radiology, plastic surgery, cardiology, and so on rather than whether or not they have an MD or a DO. Now with this said, MD practitioners do earn a slightly higher salary on average simply because more MDs choose higher paid specialties compared with DOs. So for example, MD doctors tend to earn higher salaries because they're more likely to go into highly competitive, lucrative specialties such as plastic surgery. DO graduates are less likely to do this. Okay, so to answer the question, which one is better, DO versus MD? The answer is that neither one is better than the other. The choice is entirely up to you and your preference and largely depends on your philosophical approach to theoretical training and clinical practice. Both options will get you into the field of medicine and you'll receive a quality education and the ability to obtain a license. Where they differed comes down to you. What do you want out of your education? Why do you want to be a doctor? Does the problem solving strategy of allopathic medicine speak to that inner trivia kid in you? Or does the hands-on OMM technique resonate with your holistic view of medicine? Can you see yourself leading a research team or do you dream of giving back to your local rural community? Look at this as an opportunity to customize your learning style with the type of school and the type of program that's offered. So this will wrap up another one of our videos. So please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions that I didn't cover in today's video. What are your reasons for pursuing a DO or an MD degree? Let me know in the comments section. Lastly, if you'd like us to help you with your medical school application, go to bmomedapplication.com. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.